mechanism of development of plant gall in this e lecture we will study about various hypotheses proposed for the formation of plant galls four phases of development of plant gall and the biochemical changes that occurred in the gall tissue let us start with the introduction the gall causing organisms attack or penetrates the plant growing tissues and cause the host to reorganize itself and to develop an abnormal growth and this abnormal growth is called the gall however the chemistry behind this is not fully understood although it is believed that the formation of gall is due to the complex interactions between the hormones and other chemicals these plant gall provide their inhabitants food shelter and also protect them from predators this relationship between the plant and the plant inducing insect may be regarded as the host parasite relationship in which the invader benefits while the host plant may get harmed although in many cases uh, the harm to the plant is not very much and the plant continues to thrive very well some galls are of open type and the gall inducer cause the leaf to roll and then breed in that site open gall are typically caused by the invertebrates which has a piercing type of mouth part such as aphids and mite the other type of galls are of closed type in which the larva of the creatures often a wasp or beetle develops within fully enclosed structure induction mechanism of plant gall some hypotheses have been proposed to explain the induction mechanism of plant galls by insect and one of the most common hypotheses suggest that the gall formation is triggered by the action of chemical substances secreted by the gall inducer and these chemical substances include the plant growth regulator such as auxin cytokinins indole acetic acid and other type of compound however the mode of action of these chemical substances and the general mechanism by which the insect could control and manipulate the plant development and physiology is still not known hori described four main hypotheses to explain the formation of plant gall the first hypothesis suggests the, that the injection of a fluid from the insect during the oviposition process takes place and this uh, fluid mediate the gall induction process however second hypothesis proposed that the gall formation is a result of mechanical irritation due to the presence of foreign body on plant tissues an extension of this hypothesis suggests that the galls are induced at a reactive site with particular traits of available meristematic region by the action of indu inductor insect probably in the stem cell areas the third hypothesis proposed by hori suggests that the formation of gall is induced by the secretion of active components by the saliva of the insects and the fourth hypothesis supports that the formation of gall is mediated by the 
excretion of metabolic products from the insect. Mackella et al. while working on the leaf galls of willow induced by saw flies observed that the initial stimulus for the initiation of gall formation comes from the flid which is formed inside the accessory glands of female and this flid when injected into the plant by the female at the time of egg laying cause the development of gall by depositing multiple eggs at the same host location multi chambered galls develop and such a development is considered as an evolved trait among gall inducing insects the saliva causes the lysis of the upper epidermis and mesophyll or it may also cause the infolding of papillate lower epidermis and this stimulus brings about hypertrophy of the cell next to the location of deposited egg the hypertrophy of the cell is then followed by intense hyperplasia which takes place and it brings about elevation of palisade parenchyma which then undergoes by anticlinal division in the plant gall induction process plant cells should be conditioned to produce a particular physiological state according to raman 2011 in this respect different studies have mentioned that amino acids which are present in the salivary secretion of gall inducing insects particularly lysine histidine and tryptophan could function as preconditioners for gall inductions it seems that these amino acids could cause major plasticity and would increase the sensitivity of the plant tissue to the action of corresponding inducing insect though the presence of pectinase in the saliva of insect has not been correlated with the gall induction the pectinase could degrade the cell wall and in turn contribute to tissue precondition conditioning to the action of the insect similarly it has been speculated that polyphenol oxidase also present in the salivary secretion of insect and the phenolic compound derived from its enzymatic action also increase the plant tissue insensitivity the plant tissue sensitivity to the stimulus of the inductor insect it has also been suggested that the complex interaction between the host plant tissue and polyphenol oxidase might be of fundamental value in gall formation four phases of gall development and out of the four phase the first phase is the induction phase this phase is characterized by sequence of event that defines the recognition of the ov position site and this ov position site means the egg laying site it may be a tissue or organ or and a host plant and the behavior of the inducing insect it is a critical stage and events during the oviposition and or feeding promote crucial changes in the tissue of the host plant the second phase is the growth and differentiation phase in this growth and differentiation phase the biomass increases rapid uh, remarkably due to the increased number of cells and the biomass of the gall increases due to the hyperplasia means cell division and by hypertrophy means increase in cell size and both these hyperplasia and hypertrophy are defined by the feeding activity of the larvae 
whose saliva modify the cell wall and dissolve the cell contents this activity then defines the form of the larval chamber and possi- possibly the external shape of the gall the third phase is the maturation phase in this phase the maturation of gall occur when insect is in its last instar this is the main tropic phase of the gall inducer and that is the time when it eats an expressive mass of nutritive tissue then the inner cortex will disappear under the control of inducer and the outer cortex of the gall which is more under the influence of the plant will have its resources totally drained the last stage and the fourth stage is the stage of dehiscence the stage of dehiscence or the opening of the gall occur at the end of maturation phase when the greatest physiological and chemical changes occur in the gall tissues at the end of this phase the flow of nutrients towards the gall and also the water stops so these are the four phases of gall development biochemical changes in the gall tissue during the development and maturation of gall certain biochemical changes also occur in the gall tissues and the biochemical changes are as follows the biochemical changes include the change in chlorophyll content increase in proline or certain amino acid content occur the chlorophyll content of gall tissues show a decrease as a growth progressed this loss of chlorophyll is responsible for the decolorization of the area of the leaf where egg was laid in ficus the low chlorophyll content in gall tissue was due to the loss of palisade tissue disappearance of chloroplast and also the modification of spongy chlorophyll an increase of proline content in the gall leaves also occur and the induction of proline in gall tissue indicate that this has been produced due to the stress proline is amino acid and it is produced as a defense mechanism to protect from the invader or stress factor the abiotic stresses and are believed to be an adaptive response to the altered or changed condition increase in proline content was observed in gall leaves of populus by elaka 2004 Another change is the formation of gall require mechanical and chemical stimuli and the fluid which probably contain enzymes and other sacedogenic substances when injected into the plant by the insect at the time of egg laying triggers the gall induction process the action of the stimulus leads to the formation of new tissues which cover the nymph in order to isolate and to eliminate the invader the gall tissues accumulate starch which is not present in ungall tissues the stimulus of gall forming insect redirect the growth and differentiation of cell which now this act as a sink of nutritive substance from the host plant by normal flow of resources and or by the active mobilization of neighboring parts of neighboring parts of the gall another change is the synthesis of diverse plant proteins is believed to be occur and this may be the important in, in defense defensive proteins block the action of proteolytic enzyme these proteins are known as proteinase inhibitor and rapidly seem to accumulate throughout the plant that are being fed upon by insects 
and even accumulate in undamaged areas of plant that are far from the initial feeding site. The galls are considered as a significant drain on leaf resources. Accumulation of food material such as starch is seen in cells around the activity. These cells may be functioning as a nutritive tissue. Accumulation of food materials in cells around the nymphal chamber is commonly observed in the foliar galls. For further reading, I would like to suggest these papers for mechanism of plant gall induction. Thank you for watching.